So, uh, welcome. This video, we are going to solve some of the coding problem that ask in a TCS. So, I will make a video one by one, and in the, in the one video, I try to solve one problem. So, these questions are asked in a TCS uh, in this in this 2022. So, basically, from the time span from January to to April. So, these questions are quite easy level, and the so let's move to the first question. So, we have an in array of integers which has some values and we need to find the count of elements whose value is greater than all of its prior element means let's take example of a 9 here so all of the prior elements uh, of uh, 9 is basically 7, 4, 8, 2 these are the prior elements for this 9 and all these elements are less than 9 so uh, this is one element that we need and just uh, let's see the this 8 and uh, if we see the uh, all previous element of this 8 so it will be 7 and 4 and 7 and 4 both are less than 8 so this is also the element that we want and uh, and see every uh, every element uh, which is on a starting position of an array will be the uh, the element because uh, there is not any prior element so means there is not any element which is greater than this so this is also included in our answer so hence we have three elements like this like a 7, 8 and 9 so the output will be 3 and same just see in this example every element is uh, greater uh, to the prior elements like if we take example of a 9 uh, these all elements are less than 9 and if we see the example of a 8 so these are less than 8 like this so the output will be 5 so yeah let's score this question this is quite easy question so so the input will be the first line will have the number of elements inside an array so we can simply i am using python language you can use anyone so this is i am just taking the input this is the number basically it represents the number of element in an array then this is the array so I am using I am using the list map so this is one of the best method to take space separated value if you want to use the you know basically line line wise value so you can simply trade using for loop list map and put split So it will it will give our array which has some values we will print and the next thing is, I'm just uh, taking two variables one is targeting the max value so initially assigned to zero and the second is like our answer count it is also zero so it will target the maximum value it will target the max values and this is answer this is answer okay and now just uh, iterate over this array for i in this array and if we counter any i which is greater than max value see if we counter any i which is greater than max value so our max will be that i and also we got our first element because we are traversing array through the left side suppose we have values like uh, like a 7 4 8 2 9 and the first value will be 7 so 7 is greater than i max is basically 0 so yeah 7 is greater than 0 so max will be 7 and our count is also increased next value we will get is 4 but here you see 4 is greater than max it is not so just neglect this and things and things will come okay so like this and uh, yeah this is just a code just print this counter value not a c basically we have answer count as our answer so just print this count value and you will get the answer okay so this is the code that we need to write okay suppose uh, the total number of element in first array is 5 and the element that we need like a 7 4 8 2 
9 so the output will be 3 okay we got this and the next input we have like uh, 5 is a size and like a 3 4 6 8 9 so our output is 5 we can also check for the random inputs like uh, uh, suppose uh, I'm just using like I said arrow size 8 and the values I'm putting like a 14 8 9 35 18 and 5 9 and uh, 62 and 18 okay we got answer 3 because first element always include in our answer the count is 1 now and if we see 35 all the values on the left side of the 35 is less than 35 so uh, 1 plus 1 that is 2 and 19 this is not uh, true yeah for the 62 we have all the values on the left is less than 62 so this is also included in our answer so our output is like a 3 so yeah this code is working for all test cases so this is a solution for this code i hope you like this video uh, we will see next question in the next video thank you